my lovely Sagittarius welcome to your reading this is going to be for the season of Aries and it already started on uh, March 21st and it's going to continue until April 19 now we are going to take a look at the energy for you and the person on your mind and that could be a twin flame or your soulmate um, and as you guys know we are also going to have a full moon in Libra uh, pretty much pretty soon on April 16 and we're going to take a look and see how all of these energies are going to affect you and your connection now I see that when it comes to your connection you haven't given up on them I feel that you haven't given up on your journey of love I feel like you guys are on the right path um, even though you might not be aware of it maybe for some of you guys um, I feel like you have learned a lot along this journey you have learned to love yourself more you have learned to uh, maybe for some of you guys even stepped into your divine mission maybe you started your own um, divination practice by having Having like YouTube or doing other sorts of um, ways of uh, channeling uh, the source energy or we could say divine the universe whatever you want to call that and I also see that this person has made you um, getting closer to God it's like the heart of God is the heart of beloved and the heart of you so I feel that um, for a lot of you guys this has been a very life-changing experience now how you feel right now towards them is that I feel like you had let this person go and you are trusting that um, perhaps the universe is going to do its magic for you one day now um, I feel like you are closer uh, to um, getting into reunion with your loved one than you think you are or maybe for some of you guys you're just um, kind of like detach yourself from the outcome finally and uh, perhaps it has been very hard because I see that you've been working hard towards the union or you've been working hard to get to that reunion with your loved one but then you realize the more that you get attached uh, perhaps the more this person is repelling your energy and therefore I feel like you guys step back and let them go now what is happening with your person is that i feel like they are feeling the change in your energy they have felt it for a really long time now i feel like it's few months that they've been feeling the shift in the energy but maybe they haven't been taking any action towards it and the reason for it is that this person was not energetically aligned with you so they weren't aware of what exactly needs to be done or what exactly they should be doing so i feel like at this time what is happening is that this person is realizing that the connection that they have with you is not uh, perhaps a very usual connection they see that it's um there is that um perhaps uh, a, a matter it's a it's a connection that goes beyond this lifetime it's a connection that um, perhaps it's um, usually have that telepathic communication or you guys are always communicating even you two are not together you two could be like you know years um, separated or you know by distance you know you guys could be like um, separated by so many other factors but I feel that um, they are getting to the point where they are realizing that no matter what they do or no matter who they are with they still think about you constantly so they are realizing that there is more into it um so let me take a look and see what is um happening for you guys all right we're going to take a look at it um energetically and then we are also going to take a look on a 4d and a 3d level i'm also going to continue this on a on, on our membership side so join us if you are if you want to also watch the extended reading oh my goodness all right <laughs> some cards are just falling all right so let me just shuffle it uh, just a little bit more okay my lovely Sagittarius let's see what is happening uh, energetically for you and the person on your mind and we have meditation okay so this is on your end and we have receive okay this is on your end again all right let's see what is your person's energy okay we also have purification okay again this is on your end and uh, we have wisdom on your person's end and we have forgiveness on your person's end uh, let's see what else we also have dreams okay this is on your person's end let's see that uh, oh my goodness all right energies are coming really really fast okay could be an air sign could be a water sign okay 
um, we also have abundance on their end all right so uh, we also have the element of air and element of water all right so uh, I feel like you guys could have air in your chart or your person could have and on their end um, they could have water as well so water and air um, let's see what else okay all right, we have transformation or the phoenix as the energy of the union. We also have beauty as the energy of the union. And we also have the inner voice, okay? And I feel that this is on their end again. Um, and I'm going to get one more card. Actually, you guys need two more, but let's see. We have awareness, okay, on your end. We're going to get one more card for you, Sagittarius, and then we are going to start the reading. Spirit, please give me one more card. Oh my goodness, we have growth, <laughs> all right. And uh, we also have peace, okay? So this is the energy of the union. All right, so I am going to put it down here because I cannot cover everything, but hopefully you guys are seeing some parts of the cards. Okay, let me move it a little bit to the top. Okay, so now um let's take a look at the energies and see what is happening for you my lovely sagittarius just give me a second here all right so what is happening on your person's end is that i feel like your person um something that um as a lesson that they were learning from you was that to forgive themselves okay to forgive themselves for the things that um, maybe they thought they did wrong in the past and also um, perhaps forgive others for the for the things that they have done to them they have done wrong to them and they couldn't forgive them for a really long time i feel that this your person is someone that perhaps sometimes they keep the grudges inside like they keep um i don't know they keep uh, uh the hatred sometimes within themselves and it keeps uh, bottling up and sometimes it causes them to feel that they can't forgive someone it makes them feel bitter it makes them feel that um or sometimes they also blame themselves so in any case i feel like mostly on their end what is happening is that they couldn't forgive themselves because of um, whatever that has happened in the past it could have been related to you as well it could be that they have said something they have done something that they are not proud of and they therefore they couldn't forgive themselves for but mostly this person have been feeling a lot guilty about their past okay and now they are forgiving themselves this is a really powerful energy that is coming and i feel that it also could be um around a family you know a family uh, member so it could be like a father mother brother sister or someone that they couldn't forgive in the past and now they are letting it go and forgiving them i feel that by doing that they're also you know gaining a lot of wisdom in life understanding that uh, perhaps keeping all of these um, emotions inside them has not been helpful and they are right now willing to forgive okay um, I also see that they are accepting more and more um, their emotions. They are uh, with the element of water. They're talking about the past, you know, the feelings that they had towards their past. Because if you guys take a look, look at what it says. It says water um, was past. So I feel like it has something to do with their emotional, um, with emotional life in the past that maybe they couldn't forgive. It could have been also a karmic partner that they couldn't forgive, and they kept the hatred inside their heart. Okay, and they're finally releasing that. And um, I also see that your person is someone really wise. Okay, someone with an ancient wisdom, someone that is, you know, someone who is an old soul. Okay, and, but because of that, I feel like they have been uh, perhaps suffering more because um, all souls usually um, instead of um, mostly blaming others they blame themselves more so I feel like it was the matter of forgiveness for, for them okay and um, I also see that as I said they are listening more and more to their emotions and also to their feelings and intuition and to their inner voice oh my goodness I feel like they are definitely embracing their inner voice there is wolf okay so and the wolf totem is about that um, listening to your instinct listening to your intuition okay some of them they are dreaming about you this person could had um, intense dreams about you that maybe they haven't been even telling you about it okay 
the other uh, thing that perhaps was um, preventing them from coming into union with you could have been about not being able to create abundance in their life which I think which I see that it's something that they are overcoming right now they're now able to bring more abundance why because they are forgiving the past okay because if you are keeping all the emotions inside you um, you're not able to manifest easily because you might be feeling heavy you might be feeling stuck and now I see that they are able to create more abundance in their life bringing more abundance in life which could have been something that in the beginning was um, uh, they were worried about once they were with you maybe they thought like they cannot handle the connection because of that okay um, this person is definitely have been dreaming a lot of uh, you know they had a lot of intense dreams about you and we're gonna see um, perhaps what dreams or what else um, spirit is going to reveal to you guys but their spirit animal could be a uh, wolf okay or they could have been like almost like a lone wolf all right like they needed that um, perhaps a little bit time away from you to figure out their own life and what is going on on your end is that I feel like a lot of you guys have been meditating a lot. You guys have been allowing yourself to finally receive because I see that in the beginning, perhaps you were the one who were always giving to the connection and now you are allowing yourself to receive from the universe. Okay. And this is perhaps because of hours and hours of meditation and connecting with your higher self. Um, look at that. This is so beautiful because I feel like by doing a lot of meditation, by allowing yourself to receive, you're also getting... Um, getting that awareness that perhaps we are all one you know because what i see here is that you are here but it almost like you are part of the world you're not separated from it um, because if you look at this um, image this person is um very invisible why because um he or she feels part of the world okay allowing uh, allowing yourself to receive from the world because you are um you know you are from the world you are not separated from it okay so and i also see that you're allowing perhaps yourself to receive from uh, this connection as well perhaps you are uh, maybe waiting for a message or you know just allowing yourself to receive basically as opposed to uh pushing anything and um for some of you guys maybe they live in the west side of the world and you guys are in the east okay there's a lot of native american energy that is coming as well could have been your previous lifetime uh, with this person that is showing up now i also see that you guys have been going through that process of purification so i feel that um, again there is a wolf here and also year of rabbit so some of you guys yes could be a year of rabbit that you've been born and um, what i'm also seeing is that all of these um uh, perhaps uh, challenges have been helping you to grow a lot so there's a lot of growth that has happened for you guys all right like spiritually and you have been going through that process of purification of your soul all right um, and when the process of purification happens of course you know there's a lot of pain there's a lot of um you know uh, issues that comes in there's a lot of wounds that comes in but i feel like you guys have been able to overcome that and that has been uh, you know a very a lot of growth that has happened um for you sagittarius um there's also an eagle here so i feel like you guys are also getting a better understanding of your connection not only with them but also with the universe like your connection with yourself your universe and also others has changed um completely all right you are getting that eagle view you know you can see things from a higher perspective now and yes for some of you guys you could have air in your chart as well okay so eagle um there's also an owl and a wolf all right as animal totems and there's also a crow okay all of them are very very like intuitive or instinctive um sort of like animal totems um and all of them um like crow also talks about magic okay so i feel like um your person also feels that this connection feels so magical to them but every time they wanted to perhaps do something uh there were two obstacles that they've been trying to overcome one has been about um forgiving themselves and the other one has been about being able to bring abundance in their life okay so um uh, this is on their end and the energy of the union they're saying that both of you guys 
um, at this time have been going through a really powerful transformation. This is the Phoenix arising from the ashes. Okay, so I feel like both of your lives has changed since you two have met and therefore like you guys are able now to bring back together and bring a lot of beauty and a lot of peace back into our world. So I feel that this connection is going to bring a lot of peace into the world. Um, of course, you know, this is the energy of the twin flames or soulmates with the swans. Extremely beautiful energies because I feel like you guys have had your transformation. You guys are now the phoenix, okay? But you have arisen from the ashes already. I see that the transformation has happened in both of your lives, okay? Um, now, uh, let's see, let's see, let's get more information, guys, okay, let's get more information, um, okay, let me see what to use for you guys, yeah, I think I'll use some of these cards, yeah, let's do that, okay, all right, let's get some tarot. okay let's see spirit please show me what is happening for my lovely sagittarius we have the seven of trees and says contemplation okay this is on your end and we also have the universe or expansion okay as energy of the union and we also have success all right this is on your end Okay, what else do we have? We also have two of hearts or the union. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. This is definitely happening for you. This is certainly happening. Okay, and uh, we also have the sun, vitality on your person's end. Could be a Leo. All right, it could also be... Um, Okay, let's see what else is coming. For some of you guys, you could have earth in your chart as well with the trees um also air okay especially uh, especially aquarius for some of you guys oh my goodness all right um we also have the eight of trees skill on their end okay and we also have nine of stars perseverance on your end what else do we have we also have surrender the ten of angels okay on their end we also have balance two of angels yeah you two are like two angels um yeah, coming back together, okay? Let's see. Um, we also have Illuminator, okay, on your end. Okay. And let's see, we also have the Teacher or Clarity, okay? So these are really, really beautiful energies, Sagittarius. And what I'm seeing, um, hold on a second, guys, okay? All right, so um, what I'm seeing here is that let's take a look at your person's energy and see where they are. I feel like they're feeling more positive about the connection in general, okay? They are feeling that vitality. They feel like they have more energy to do things, okay? Before even I started your reading, Spirit was showing me the energy of the sun. So strongly could be a Leo, all right, that they've been feeling down for a long time. I feel like they could have been um feeling down as i said because of those reasons because first uh they couldn't bring abundance in their life for some reason they were feeling stuck and now they are learning a new skill or something that um, perhaps even they had from previous lifetimes even perhaps they had certain um talents or certain gifts that they didn't discover until now and now they are using that skill or talent to bring more abundance in their life okay uh, with the eight of trees i'm seeing that they've been working um, or they've been maybe learning a new skill um, going to school um, doing different things like trying different things in order to bring abundance and it's working for them all right so i also feel like when it comes to you 
yeah let's take a look at like when it comes to what is happening is that they're getting more clarity about the connection there's no doubt they also feel that you are their teacher or um or that um, they are your teacher it could be that there is yes it could be that there is that teacher and student kind of a relationship as well between you guys but mostly what I see here is that you guys are each other's teacher okay you guys have been teaching each other a lot of um, powerful spiritual lessons okay um, I feel like when it comes to you as I said they are getting more clarity on what needs to be done and they are definitely surrendering to this love they are giving up on um, um, perhaps um, resisting it they are also um, as I said what has been holding them off could have been not being able to forgive themselves okay but now they are surrendering um, your person is surrendering to the love that they feel for you okay I feel like they could have had the sword they could have been like kind of on guard for quite a long time and now they're letting it go surrendering to divine love all right feeling more like happy feeling like they can do finally do things okay um, and yes there is that teacher energy maybe some of them they actually could be teachers okay or they could be like um, and teaching anything I mean they could be like spiritual teachers they could be like you know even teaching school teaching in school um, but more than that I see that they you know they see you as um, their teacher okay that you've been teaching them a lot of um, lessons um, in love okay or about love now um, what is your energy here is that I feel like you guys have been um, not giving up okay and says perseverance I feel like you've been you've been going through hell I feel like it's been so difficult and you guys have been you know there's a lot of tears there's a lot of it's almost like a blood coming out it's almost like um you know a lot of sweat a lot of like difficulties that you have been going through this it has been tremendous but you guys never give up and i feel like spirit wants to tell you that you are succeeding all right you got your wings this is beautiful this is you sagittarius i feel like strongly this is you all right um that you are um succeeding in this love or there is success when it comes to your relationship finally coming to you um i feel like you guys you guys have been contemplating a lot thinking a lot about um perhaps about your life and also perhaps about this person okay but not in a way that oh you want them so badly i feel like in a way that you've been um lovingly uh perhaps um i don't know like feeling them lovingly or sending them prayers or in general i feel like you've been um perhaps going within okay doing a lot of meditation connecting with with your higher self and also maybe connecting with them on a spiritual level all right this is what i'm seeing and you are winning this okay so success is coming for some of you guys yes you have aquarius in your chart as well and with the illuminator i mean this is really beautiful and it says queen of stars i feel like exactly this is you as well um i feel that you have been um you are not only um illuminating the path um for yourself but also for others to follow okay so i feel like you guys are a star all right i see that you guys are a star in some ways i feel like you guys could be leaders even um illuminating the path for others to follow later on and also perhaps um you have been illuminated the path of love for your person too as i said they feel like you are their teacher <laughs> okay now the energy of the union is also beautiful because they're saying that you two it's the time for coming into union is coming for you sagittarius so get ready for that i feel that um this is the energy of the full moon in libra as well which is bringing more balance into your connection and that's exactly i feel like you are letting yourself to receive okay so perhaps things could have been out of balance but you learned how to receive right now um i also feel like yeah you guys been learning how to preserve how to not to give up basically even though it has been um tremendous pain a lot of uh, tears 
but you guys made it okay so i feel like the connection is now more in balance um and with the two of angels they're talking about two angels coming into union the two of hearts two hearts two angels um i mean spirit is bringing the couples here um in these cards i mean it's just quite kind of a double confirmation for you guys and actually more than that because there's also this card which is the beauty okay so if you guys take a look at all of these they are in a couple there are two swans okay there are two of angels okay and there's also two of hearts so there's no doubts that this is happening for you guys i feel like you know with the universe um, of course there's that wheel of fortune but i feel like your consciousness is expanding um, because to me this is not only the wheel of fortune i feel like this is also the consciousness with the lotus flower this is um both of your your consciousness expanding okay embracing all that um you are and all that there is around you like um, basically embracing the universe okay and expanding therefore your consciousness is expanding for both of you guys okay all right so this is like really really beautiful and i want to get um, one more um cards hold on a second guys okay Um, life path number five and um, also three is um, significant and also uh, 21st of the month uh, could be very significant for you guys um, basically 21st of april is um, could be significant for some of you guys okay all right They could also have, uh, you know, earth in their chart. So I feel like both of you guys have earth in your chart, okay? And and they also have uh, water. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else is going on. We have the blood dance. Okay, this is you. Remember I was talking about the blood? So I feel like you guys been going to hell but it's like dancing through that hell all right it's like someone is bleeding but still dancing you know it's like someone is um in pain in so much pain but they still choose to dance um let's see what else okay oh my god all right what do we have the bride offers herself <laughs> okay we also have the breaking okay this is on your person's end and uh, we also have towering magnificence on your person's end okay and we also have soft all right this is on your person's end okay and what else do we have we also have seed of the heart okay on their end all right we also have the temple okay it looks like you guys are coming into this beautiful um, union together in a temple and we also have dance of the uh, planets okay let's see what else all right we also have hearts fire okay so that is your element of course and we also have she is the moon all right for some of you guys you could have um, cancer or Pisces in your charts as well okay so um i think i'll get one more card and see all right we have the yin yang lover oh my goodness guys all right this is it okay you guys are coming into union um and let's see what is happening um, on your person's end. I feel like they are having a breakthrough, okay? They're having a more, because this clarity that they are getting about the connection is helping them to have that breakthrough. And I feel like, you know, um, they have been going through that tower moment. And it says towering magnificence because this is the divine tower that has happened. Just like that Phoenix energy that has happened for both of you guys, I feel like for them, that towering moment has happened. It has softened their heart. It has... Um, 
they are um, feeling you um, in the core of their hearts like basically in the core of their being they feel you they also feel that um, you have planted you have you know you have um, planted seeds in their hearts seeds of love okay and it's blossoming it's finding that kind of like a breakthrough to come out to blossom and, I, and it's making them feel like softer perhaps their energy could have been very um, blocked or very um, closed and now it's opening up okay um, I feel like they did not want it to show you their soft size because they've been afraid that you might think they're weak okay they thought that if they tell you that they have this issue and that issue the finances and um, and that maybe they just um, started to do something like going to school or things like that it's it's a weakness or maybe they thought like it's um, they shouldn't be um, like at the age of like let's say whatever they've been feeling like oh my god i cannot tell um you know sagittarius that i just started to do this okay so i feel that they are overcoming a lot of things that uh, perhaps in the past they were embarrassed about or they thought it's a weakness okay so definitely i feel like you have and you know inserted these seeds in their hearts okay and this seed of the heart i don't know it's like the core it's like you touch this parts of their hearts that is right now you know is making them feel like more softer more like um you know more coming to themselves more you know it's making them it made it made them easier to experience this breakthrough okay or this breaking breaking out of the perhaps matrix okay breaking out of something that was just not working for them and that's why they have this like really really powerful um towering moment okay 30 as i said 30 the number is 30 okay 30 25 could be for some of you guys could be your age 47 it's also being showed up okay now on your end Sagittarius what is going on here is that I feel like you know you guys and since she is the moon <clears throat> and what does that mean is that you are definitely like feeling all the feelings right now you guys are feeling the you know perhaps all the um all the pain and all the joy and all the happiness and everything all together like i feel like you guys are embracing life in general and this love and perhaps yes it has been very difficult it has been um you know they, they are calling it like a bloody war right and i feel like in, in you know um despite all of these things you are still dancing okay and this is the blood dance it's like you are feeling like these um you know blood like going through your veins like giving you that vitality just like them that they had the sun so i feel like you guys are also feeling like more uh perhaps positive right now feeling like you know uh, perhaps your time has finally come all right uh this is what i'm saying where was that uh the sun i don't know where it is but I feel that um, oh yeah like vitality okay so I feel like you guys are feeling more and more positive right now I feel like you guys are maybe seeing the possibility of coming together right now or feeling like after all of these um, perhaps pain you still can dance you can still like you know uh, move towards them or things are gonna be happening regardless of how difficult it has been um and i also see that um yeah for some of you guys they're saying that you are going to be a bride so yes for some of you guys i see like you might be like getting married in a temple or somewhere that um could be like a traditional marriage for some of you guys and since the temple yeah i'm seeing that you guys are coming into a place like a sacred place to like making vows to each other all right this is beautiful i mean this is the temple i feel like the temple is also talking about the spiritual realm so i feel like this marriage between you guys has already been done or it's already um, had taken place but it's coming into the treaty as well in a way as you guys are that um, um, you know yin to each other's yang it's a yin yang lover again I mean if you guys take a look at all of these again there are couples okay even with the temple and even with the dance of the planets I feel like this is the destiny the dance of the planets definitely for me this is a wheel of fortune okay 
but um, it's very interesting that the Wheel of Fortune is like in all of them is talking about the spiritual journey okay the wheel instead of like in 3d I feel like it could have been in a spiritual world and um, it's almost like turning and turning and right now is bringing the perfect timing of the planets for you guys to manifest that also in the 3d as well but this is your consciousness okay um, and I feel like your consciousness has been dancing through the time together over and over again and um, and yet finding each other back in time all right like I feel like they are saying that the timing is absolutely perfect that there is no um, like basically like it's not late it's not too early like it's a perfect time for this yin yang lover to come into union with each other I mean it's really really beautiful guys because all of them has that energy of the twin flames or soulmates whatever you want to call that okay so yeah and I feel like you know and it says hard fire so I feel like you know your I mean of course it's talking about your element for some of you guys maybe red is your favorite color red and green are being showed up and I see that it's um I don't know maybe you're feeling the excitement in your heart I feel like some of you guys might be feeling so passionate um, also might be feeling a lot of that um, sexual energies as well there's a lot of sensual or sexual energies like maybe you're dancing in your room like feeling the excitement with no reason it's not like you know maybe for some of you guys you know this has happened I feel like it's just the way that you are feeling right now like feeling more alive okay no matter what has happened in the past yeah doing the blood dance okay and it says the the bride offers herself this is just really beautiful um, life path number seven as well but they're saying that um, yeah I feel like you guys one of some of you guys it's like there's going to be a traditional marriage with the, with them oh my goodness guys it was really really beautiful um, really a beautiful reading for you guys and um, I think I'll continue that on the membership site as well um, I think that I'll get you guys some charms and and see um actually let me see hold on a second i think i'll get you guys like two more cards and then we're gonna get the charms okay but i will continue this more on a 3d level on the membership site too so join me if you're being guided okay so let's take some cards and see what else uh, is the last okay we have the emperor all right for some of you guys it could be an aries okay um for some of you guys um perhaps you have aries in your chart what else do we have we also have the hierophant okay so there's taurus so maybe for some of you guys um uh, they have it in they have it in their chart as i said it could be an earth sign okay um taurus and um aries but i feel like they're also very traditional i feel like this person is, wants to marry you there is marriage definitely happening for some of you guys that i'm seeing as this is the emperor to me this is the emperor and the emperor and the empress energy kind of like coming um here okay so let's see i think i'll get one more card and it says the chariot so it could be a cancer as well i feel like things are going to be happening yeah i'm seeing a church guys yeah i'm definitely seeing church for you guys like getting married in a church or like a temple that they are saying let's get one more card actually okay let's see the last one and we have the moon so oh my goodness a lot of like cancer energy oh gosh i feel like they also could have been going to hell it looks like bloody here too i mean a lot of pain a lot of like difficulties but you guys are overcoming that with a chariot and i feel like the chariot is both of your energies all right one more for you and we have the tower okay so i feel like you both of you guys could have had that tower not only them i mean they're showing like a lot of challenges on both on both ends um it looked like you guys have been into a bloody fight with with <laughs> with the events that has happened in your life and coming out of it successfully with the chariot they're saying that things are gonna happen so fast i feel like you guys are gonna meet and boom after that there's like a lot of like events that are lined up for you guys all right right 
this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a church here for some reason. Like this is um, like to me looks like a window of a church. And to me, this looks also like a little bit of a beauty and the beast sort of energy coming. All right. Um, okay. So my lovely Sagittarius, let's get you guys some charms and oh my god i forgot to give you guys a message from them too so let's get you a message from them too okay this is their message it says my silence i know my silence is making you wonder if i love you or not but please never think that way i'm quiet because i need some time myself to process my emotions it's been very tough yeah it's been very tough very very like um it's been very tough and i needed a break from it all never doubt my love for you i know it's hard when we don't talk but just know that during this time i'm working on myself in my silence and still in my heart i love you i love you with all that i am oh my goodness guys all right so yeah like I've been working on myself and also having like uh, they wanted to have like that breakthrough which I feel like it's already happened for them the breaking okay it looks like both of you guys could have had that um, yeah because the tower to me looks like also you also have been going through that tower moment maybe even at the same time as them or in different timing but it did happen okay and I feel like you guys are now like in this position um you know i feel like you guys are now in this position yeah to me this looks like a emperor and the empress energy coming all right so let's um let's get you guys some charms okay okay so uh let's see we have the letter s and it says i'm stuck in a karmic situation i want to hold you in my arms i'm trying to find uh to find a way out of my situation yeah having that breakthrough i feel like this is what they want to say and also letter j letter d letter s so could have been a karmic situation for some of them that they have broken out of that okay um again letter j letter s i don't know letter j letter s and it says i want to hold you in my arms again oh my god i think that's what they were saying here i want to hold you in my arms that's what they want to do okay yeah i feel like this is what they want to do like to hold you in their arms yeah like yeah and this is the energy that is coming for you guys as the union and it says i want to marry you i told you guys for some of you guys there's marriage please don't give up on us twin flame reunion is happening i want you to be my forever and it says it's always darkest before the dawn and um i want to marry you okay we got that i miss you that's what they want to say letter z letter l uh, union happening in summertime for some of you guys i want to see you again all right and it says it's been a long time for some of you guys and um for some of you guys maybe they live across the ocean maybe um i feel like for some of you guys they could be traveling involved okay so um perhaps they needed money or finances could have been an issue to get from where you are okay but um or maybe for some of you guys you guys are going to be going on a boat as well in the future i love you with all my heart please know that you are my forever love please do not doubt us okay and it says i'm ready to love you <laughs> i'm ready to love you to hold you they want to hold you after a very long time union happening i thought to let you know that i'm ready i'm ready to love you uh, i know you've been waiting for a long time all right and it says what you need to know is that there's no one else in my heart you are the only person in my heart no one else they want to make sure that you know that for some of you guys yes there is a ring i told you guys there's marriage for some of you guys you also have us okay uh we also have some part of <clears throat> middle east it could be like arabia it could be like um, saudi arabia it could be like dubai or um, i don't know somewhere in middle east could be like even i don't know um 
we also have hope okay and this is Aquarius energy coming we also have Greece for some of you could be like maybe that's where they leave or you leave and that's where they want to go and we also have um, Leo yes I told you guys for some of you guys the Leo energy was coming very strong and we also have the peace okay so I feel that this connection is gonna is gonna bring a lot of peace into the world in not only into your lives but also in the life of others around you okay and we also have India okay we also have I love you to the moon and back. I mean, there's cancer energy or Pisces energy coming along very strong. But this is what I, they want to tell you as well. Um, Year of Rabbit. Okay. What else is here? We also have Gemini energy coming. Gemini with um, Aquarius energy as well. Year of Rabbit again. Oh my goodness. Okay. We also have Taurus as a confirmation because we had the uh, Hierophant. Oh my God. All right. We also have letter R. Okay. And um, what else they are saying here? Yeah. For some of you guys, you could be artists. Okay. Like you have this color palette that's coming. You could be an artist. Um, Aquarius energy again coming all right so I think that these are the energies that are coming for you my lovely Sagittarius so um, there's also New York so I, I don't want to like miss that because uh, this could be significant for some of you guys again there's Aquarius energy okay so my lovely Sagittarius, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and I'm sending you guys so much love. Until next time.